I got a bunch of shows coming up. I got one at the Fog Line Monday um, next week. I got one at Johnny B's on, I think it's the 20th. I'm going to be hosting here on the 24th of October. Um, check it out. November 6th. I don't know where that one is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me tell some jokes. Um, my um, father wanted me to dress up more for these gigs, but um, it's still too hot to wear pants yet, so maybe next week. I've been applying at a lot of jobs, and um, I applied for this really prestigious job, and I got like my pants on and like a suit and a blouse, and I was like, oh, this is fun. And I like, I really didn't even recognize myself, but the recruiter was like, make sure to send us a thank you note. So I sent out the thank you notes, and I haven't heard back from the recruiter, in case she's watching this. <laughs> Just tell me whether I got the job or not. Um, I went for another job interview today, and um, from my resume, um, it showed, they must have thought I was um, Hispanic. Um, they asked me, when can I go work at Amy's Kitchen? And I said, no, I'm here for the election job. And I don't know. And the interview was all in Spanish. It was so confusing. <laughs> I guess I'll just go back to working in the factory. <laughs> all right. I was thinking about running for office because the job search thing isn't going very well. And I think if you ask me um, any of those questions, like Judge Kavanaugh, I would just be like, my answer would be, I just blacked out. So I think I'm qualified to run for a Supreme Court Justice. I recently signed up to go to a Bitcoin conference, although I don't have any Bitcoin. Um, I did a video interview the other day, and I got distracted looking at myself. That my friend, he wanted to talk to me on FaceTime, and I'm like, no, that is not a flattering angle for me. I met a prince, yet he wasn't charming. Um, I had a friend, and he, as, as a kid, we would play in this pile of dirt, like this huge, giant pile of dirt, and we'd, her dad would always hide treasures in it. Well, now there's things called lost kittens, where people pay money to dig through a carton and find a little plastic kitten. I thought, oh, what if my friend's dad thought of that? He could have been rich. This is going well. <laughs> tons of laughs tonight, all right. Um, I recently um, broke off my toenail, like just part, like where it was hanging on the edge. And I was like, oh no, what do I do? And then I was like, Bixby, what should I do? And Bixby's like, well, you should administer self-care by cutting off your nail by itself. And I'm like, oh. And then I like cut my nail off. And then it's like, I'm like, Bixby, I'm bleeding. And then they're like, you should wrap it in gauze. <laughs> I don't know, it'll be funny someday. I do have a job, and I sample makeup, and one of the makeup that I sample was chocolate flavored, and um, women wouldn't buy it because their objection was that they would lick off all the chocolate, and I just kept telling the woman, this one won't come off for like 48 hours. All right, that's all I got tonight.